I'm Dulcie Linzo Johansson, and this is my art. I grew up in Southwest Virginia, a little town called Rocky Mount, and then went to uh, Virginia Tech, where I started in psychology, went to interior design, and ended up in studio art. And I was basically a painter and a sculptor, but then senior year I took clay as an elective, and it was like, oh, the light bulb went on. So definitely I'm a three-dimensional artist, and it just, the malleableness and the the amazing thing where you go from a lump of clay to something that's fired that's hard and permeable and yeah it's just kind of magic and it's still magic uh, after a year off i went to graduate school in colorado but colorado was too dry i like the green of virginia so uh kept on going out here to oregon because it's green like Virginia, but with a Mount Hood. Then I was fortunate enough to uh, get a job with Bennett Welsh, who was a master potter in Gresham, and he uh, had a wholesale business and employed half a dozen of us, and so I kind of learned a huge amount from him, and also learned how to market and how to sell wholesale and do the gift shows and how to actually make a living out of this stuff. Working with him, we would have some time off over Christmas when orders were low and some weeks and I would work at ski areas. So I uh, taught Nordic skiing and worked at uh, Ski Bowl and Timberline and was also doing more and more of my own pottery. So there was sort of this big why in the road when um, I had to make a decision to stay with Timberline and, and manage the ticket office there and have a good steady job with a paycheck and benefits, or go do pottery and do what I really loved, but wasn't sure how I was gonna pay the bills with it. Started my business in uh, 1989 and did a lot of craft shows and then started doing the wholesale gift shows. After 25 years of that, I've pretty much just established a good wholesale business and that's, uh, that's going good. Well, living here a long time and having a lot of long time friends, uh, more often than I'd like to think, I go to visit their houses and see something I did 30 years ago and I'm like, oh my God, can I please trade that out? <laughs> and every now and then I see something and it's like, yeah, that was, that was cool. I might revisit that, you know, that was a good idea. So Clay and glazes are all earth materials. The clay body that I use, a type of clay, was actually developed by my mentor, Bennett Welsh. It's a good clay body. It holds up well in ovens, microwave, dishwashers. I actually say I'm making mugs. I weigh out the balls of clay that I'm gonna use for what I'm gonna make. Uh, mugs are generally one pound for my basic one. So we'll throw a mug body. First, have to get that clay centered. If you don't, it'll be really, really wiggledy as you pull it up. Little fun fact we in America tend to have our potter's wheel going counterclockwise, where in England they go clockwise. You want to try to have the walls of the pot equal thickness from top to bottom.
With mugs, when they're leather hard, I need to put a handle on them. So then I put a handle on them, they have to dry completely. And then after they're dry, they are put in the kiln one time as a bisque firing. So then they're glazed, decorated, and refired. Then they're done. And I like doing things that people can use. Because when you use it, you enjoy it, and hopefully you get more. People have been doing making clay pots for thousands of years, so it's kind of neat to be a continuum of what's been going on forever.